So today is going to be the basics of posing with hands. What do we do with these hands? <laughs> so I'm going to teach you the basics of how to use your hands elegantly in a photo. So let's get started. So my first recommendation is, and always will be, is to relax. This includes including your hands and to stretch before doing your photo session. This will allow your muscles to be more fluid and you'll be able to move a lot more and be super relaxed throughout the whole session. Uh, next is going to be posture, so make sure you maintain that good posture in your photos. And let's get started with what do we do with hands. So my number one rule is to not press. Now, naturally when you hold, like when you're gripping your, your hands on something, you're, you're pushing, like they're really like pretty much seated into your skin or you're, you're leaning, you are like, what? And you're smushing your face and that's not really good for photographs. So it's fine in person, we don't really, we don't really notice those things, but when we're posing, you'll actually want to gently rest the hand if maybe not even at all, like kind of like this. Just gently rest the hands onto the surface of whatever you're touching, whether it be like your shoulders, your arms, uh, even carrying an object, you want the object to kind of just hang gently in your hands. This will prevent any of the skin from bunching or kind of getting like the chubby, the chubby face in like weird positions. <laughs> so that's my first tip is to gently rest the hands on the surface of what you're touching. Next when posing hands is that you can pose the actual hands, but it's not going to be stiff claw pose when posing your hands like this. What you're going to do is you're going to soften them so almost like, I don't know, like they're like floating, like they're kind of like in space and they're just floating around. So just think of your hands as gently moving, kind of like water. Uh, it's, it's helpful if you are into dance, like I do like belly dancing and there's a lot of kind of, you know, movement and kind of flowing of the hands, which is really nice. I recommend if you're not too confident with how your hand poses are, you can kind of do some I don't know, type of dance moves or learn some dance moves that use the hands to kind of loosen them up a little bit and kind of get you those soft hands that we need. So your next step is soft but posed hands. So let's go ahead and give it a try. So first have your two hands like this and then you're just going to gently open them and relax and try turning them into a different pose. Try crossing them. Be relaxed. There we go. Yeah, you probably got it by now. So you can tell they're just they're just so dainty and so soft, unlike in real life. <laughs> right? So that is kind of gonna be your exercise for today is just soft hands. Everything is soft. Soft, gentle, even if you're a guy. Men can have gentle hands too. <laughs> okay, so next step when posing, try not to face your palms towards the camera. So naturally our hands are about the size of our face, roughly, so that's actually taking up a lot of the picture and taking up our show time, so you don't want that. <laughs> you want this to be the focus, not this. Okay, so you're going to not want to expose your palms to the camera as much. You can for a few photos, but for the majority you want to turn them either sideways or backwards. This one's is still a little bit awkward for me, but the key is to not have like open hands. So if I did open hands, you can see it's like roughly the size of my face. But if I'm to turn them in, have a little more kind of elegant, kind of very thin, thin focus on them. So that's what you want to do is palms in. Uh, next tip to use is I like to start doing photos without hands first just to kind of give the photographer a variety of without the hands. Next, you can involve one hand, so you can pose with one and kind of work, work with one. You can try the other hand, try working with that one for a while, just for a variety of poses. And then next, you can add both hands, then you can start working with both ones for a more artistic feel. So that way the photographer gets a variety of no hands, one hand, the other hand, and two hands. 
And the next one to focus on, and my last kind of tip for hand posing, is going to be there is a variety you can do. There's so many types that you can do. A good way to learn them is to study in the mirror, uh, to study from other models. Copying in modeling is not copying, if that makes sense, because it's your face, it's completely different. The angle of the photographer is different. So there's no like rule, oh, you can't, you're copying that model's pose. Like there's nothing like that. Don't worry, just do it. <laughs> so copy, 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 copy and study, make it your own. That's what I say in modeling. So pretty much learn from other models, learn from not just if you're a woman, not just from female models, you can learn from male models or anything pretty much. Any source of information is, you can learn and bring it to your own for hand posing. And lastly is to think of the amount of space you're using. So right now my face is taking up a part of the frame and perhaps I'll start working the hands near my face and around the face. So you want to think of where you're working the face, or sorry, so you want to think of where you're putting your hands. So maybe I'll start below first. Start below, midway. So about middle of the face. Upper face. So like kind of like around the face, like frame, framing the face. And then you can do one up and one down. So you have quite a variety of how to place your hands. You have lower, middle, upper, up and low, mid, and you can go, all, go on and on for, for many days. And then if you're still like, yeah, but I just want something else, don't forget you have all of this space around you right now, like this huge empty space that can be worked as well. So if you want to bring out the arms, make space, so see how this hand is already making space, bringing in, connect the two, Perhaps, I don't know if you can see this, probably out of frame, but you can go around, bring it around like this. So you have options to move your hands out in these kind of directions. This is great for if you're doing some jewelry modeling and you kind of want to bring the focus out to here. So just to summarize, we have relaxing and good posture while posing. Don't forget those angles. If you don't all know already, you can check out some of my other videos on how to pose without the hands. Next, you're going to remember not to push and grab too tight. You're just gonna gently rest the hands as you pose. And don't forget to have soft hands while posing. Nothing too, like, straight, I don't know, nothing too, like, claws. You don't want claws or anything unless that's kind of like the artistic pose you're going for. So you want gentle, soft hands. Remember, hands in. It's so not palm out, but more in, so sideways or in, or twisted in. It's more delicate, kind of small looking, so that way your face remains the largest object in the frame. And lastly, don't forget you can use one hand, no hand, two hands, lots of options, and the space around your body, as well as the space around your face. Don't forget this beautiful neck that you have that you can accentuate with your hands as well. So good luck, and don't forget to subscribe down below. <laughs> Too cheesy, I know, right? Okay, so don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the like button so that others can go ahead and find this video and improve their hands in their photos. And for you, don't forget to study hand poses. Very important. As models, we're always studying and improving.